Okay, so now let's do the rooftops. Um, I've already got a nice texture here that I've used for the sky. I could use it again for the rooftops, and really no one will be the wiser. So let's duplicate this layer by clicking and dragging it down to the New Layer button. I'm going to drag it up above these just to keep them separate and rename this Roof Texture. And obviously it's still got the mask for the sky, so let's get rid of that. Click and drag on the layer mask itself. Drag that down to your trash can. And this will give you the option, apply mask to layer before removing. We want to just delete it because we don't want to apply it, otherwise we'll get stuck with just the sky art there. So let's delete, and there it is. Let's come up to Edit, Transform, and 180. This will give us a slightly different texture than what's above. And you'll notice that the mountains from the brush painting I used are infringing upon the tower there. So let's make this a little bigger and that's pretty good. It's still infringing on here but it'll only be showing on those little parts there. That may even look kinda neat. So we'll click enter to confirm our transformation and now we'll drag up our mask from the rooftop fill. Control Alt to copy and there we go. Now, let's do a couple different things than we did with the sky. We'll make a new adjustment layer. Control click on your mask to make that a selection. And now we'll do an adjustment layer of levels. This will really bust out the textures of this watercolor and maybe make things interesting. And with, with things like levels, it's really just an experimentation until you find something you like. That looks pretty interesting, so I'm going to click OK. And now we'll click on the mask and do another adjustment layer. Let's try a solid color. And I'm going to go for kind of a light sort of tannish color, beige. Click OK, and now we'll try blend modes on our solid fill there. And darken, multiply, color burn. A lot of these are... That's actually fairly interesting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that, and then I'm going to duplicate this layer and switch it from overlay back to multiply but that makes it a little too dark so I will drag down my opacity mm, that's not exactly what I want so I'm gonna go back to 100 percent but I'm gonna click on the color and make it a kind of a lighter color. Okay, there we go. That's pretty interesting. And I'm going to go back and rename these. So levels will be roof levels. This will be roof overlay because that's the blending mode I used. And this one will be roof mold to apply. Okay, there's a little bit more we can do if we like. Go ahead and choose a paintbrush. I'm going to create a new layer and control alt drag my mask up to the new layer and I'm going to shrink my paintbrush quite a bit using the left bracket. The two brackets will 
shrink and enlarge your brush. Right? Since we want to shrink it, I'm using the left bracket key. I'm going to choose a nice yellow color for my swatch. And now, always make sure that you are painting on your art rather than your mask, like I just was. So click on the art and choose the yellow color. Now that's a little bit bright. So I'm going to control Z. going to take my flow down to 5% and try a little painting like that. I make my brush slightly bigger. This is just a way to paint in some highlights onto your piece. Add a little more color variation. And you can choose other colors as well. Some would question my choice of a red here, but I think it's a, at least an interesting choice, if not a good one. I can use the brown to mute some of that. And the big finish. I will make a nice large brush, come down here and paint in some blue, give it some nice shadowing effect. All right, and there we have it, a coloring book job.